twice the speed for half the price. Well, there you go. Back here. And something tells me we're gonna be here quite a bit. Hmm. Well. Onward and upward. At least onward. I'm not sure about upward. I just started. Carl. I just started. Alright, so. Yeah. Repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. I could probably fix that. I mean, if you wanted me to. Yeah, go ahead. Yep, I see the problem. His nav mod got dislodged. Must have taken a tumble. Just gotta give it a good push and wait for the click. There we go. Jeremy's good as new. Well, new by Spacer's Choice standards, anyhow. His name's Jeremy, by the way. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating some... Hey, Simon. Uh, Carl, look at the VOD. It should be uploaded, actually, as we speak. That's uh, a little bit too much to explain. Yeah, the VOD should be uploaded within the next hour here. And public on the channel. Whoa, hey, don't you owe me something for the repairs? Uh, I don't reckon Jeremy understands the concept of trade. Spacer's Choice reminds all colonists that serving the Spacer's Choice family is the highest possible reward. I have been program to deliver this pre-approved message excellent this is ridiculous i'm done be more careful out there jeremy I don't know if that was such a good idea to go. To go for the... That doesn't look very comfy. Well, at least it's not... At least it's not uh, three seashells, I guess. Yep, inside voices only. Ooh. Nice. But yeah, to give you a short very short overview um you wanted to come to a different colony so you decided to travel on spacer's choice spaceship hope to a galaxy far far away unfortunately things went wrong and you were drifting for over 70 years some dude woke you up and time doesn't Ooh. 
Oh, don't mind me if I do. Where in the world are we going now? Ooh, hi there. Well, they should better not see us. Let's see here, what do we have? We have a light pistol. And we have a sort of shotgun. No, that's what she has. What do I have? A bolter pistol and a light machine gun. Stun baton. Honestly, we can just stop. Break all this stuff down because we don't need it. Yeah, I think we're gonna start with this. Hey, Brad. There's three baddies around the corner. Oh, never. Oh. Fine. Rabbits, brats. Great. Friggin' great. It's the last thing that I needed right now. Aaron. Thank you for your continued support of my nonsense. Uh, no, I shouldn't have used the... Should have just used the spacer's choice. Special here. That's okay. <laughs> Messages... Two... From Gibbs, hey boss, just wanted to check up on the new Saltuna Live project. I've been brainstorming some new tagline for the product line, and I think some of them will really catch your customers' attention. Dear Lawrence, I appreciate your hard work on behalf of our beloved brand of Saltuna. I've 
just received a response from corporate they are not interested in your idea of a light version of the cell tuner brand because we'd rather not compete with ourselves but they are interested in the idea of a lighter cell tuner effective immediately we have been instructed to use heavier weighted cans so we can pack them with less cell tuner thereby saving bits to every can this is exactly the kind of breakthrough our cannery needs. In fact, our logistics department has just confirmed my request to have you transferred from marketing to the cannery. Can you imagine, Lawrence? You'll be rubbing elbows with your fellow workers in the canning line, filling each slightly heavier than can with slightly less salt tuna, hour after hour, day after day. This is a great and tremendous honor for you and for me. Effective immediately, your position in our marketing division has been terminated. Wow, we ideas for saltuna light taglines melts on your fork, not in your mouth, less fat with some salt tuna flavor. It's brine time now with satisfying crunch of cartilage. You can't spell to what you can spell salt tuna without salt. Leading scientists say it's still food. Wow. Wow. Oh yeah. Good, good. Yeah, Spacer's choice handguns, body counts at a discount, exactly. What do we have here? Not bad, not bad. If I do say so myself. All right. Nice. Oh, I think that's it. That's all we can get from here. <laughs> wow, he has some ideas to get the brand ahead in the game. And they demote him into the cannery. That is just something. That is something else. Let me tell you what. All right, well, oh, we can't go. We need three mag picks for this one. Where in the world am I going to find one? <laughs> Evicted. Oh, good. Oh, maybe down here. Really worth it? And how the heck am I gonna get out of here? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yum, yeah, I know, right? How are you doing today, Brad? Oh, hi, Simon. Hi, monkey. Oh, 
Okay, that whole sleep deprivation thing is not working for me. We have to kind of break off on our chase. Oh, I'm good. I renewed my license today and almost died. The last time when I renewed my license, I paid... I want to say it was $50 for the renewal and just over a hundred for the um just over a hundred for the medical now the medical is 230 oh goody now the medical is 230 and Oh jeez, there's a lot of them. Oh, no wonder that I was who Uh yeah, 230 and uh, the renewal is $60. So things got a little bit more expensive, one could say. Yeah, I really would like to take those Marauders on, but that ain't gonna happen. Because yours truly is in no way, shape or form adequately equipped to take those little scoundrels out yeah that's what i thought too oh what oh boy oh dear oh no Dang it, that's close. What is... What is... What the... Yeah, look how many... That, and it's no wonder that I couldn't take him out. Could have sworn I've seen something move there out of the corner of my eye. Jeez, Luis, this game. But that looks like loot. And loot is good. <laughs> oh, jeez Louise, forget that. Oh, wait. Quietly, though. Come quietly, please. Oh, that. That. that what? Not what I meant. Yeehaw! Hey, Josh.
Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, please. If you can, this is a good time to use the membership I button thing. Stuff. So I seen the first ditch bridge in action today. I'm kind of curious. Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. Oh, hi, Grace. I don't know you. That's okay. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. No, no. I'm looking for Adelaide. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Reed said something about former workers living out in the wilderness. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. You wouldn't happen to know anything about the geothermal plant. A geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. You, me both, I'm trying to figure out how to repair my ship. Oh, trouble with marauders? You don't know what enough with the questions means? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. I'll keep an eye out. To go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Pale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. <laughs> Unless marauders got to her, then parts of her could be in a lot of places. Do without the gallows humor. I've got questions about Zoe. I'll tell you what I can. Any idea where she might be hiding? If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. You snooped around her room? A little ways ago. She was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to see what the fuss was about. <laughs> Maybe the Marauders took her away. Could be. Dangers aplenty out there. No telling why marauders would steal somebody like Zoe. Got no useful skill as far as I could tell. How well do you know her? Well enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. <laughs> you seem so personable. Can't imagine how you didn't get on with her. She was lazy and thoughtless, but she's still one of our own. What is it? Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. I could just shoot you in the back of the head, you know. about you friend don't you worry about me buddy just leave your goods here I'll take care of them
two hour energy brew, mock apple juice, pre sliced bread. Oh, it's not halfway bad. Ooh! A bypass shunt. Don't mind if I do. Ah, yeah, we need some food and stuff too. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, pre sliced bread. And then. Oh, shoot, that was beer. This all is no problem. The problem is... Chickens. Hey, dude. Hungry? We got canid ribs, canid flank, canid snout, too. Something I can help you with? I'm told one of your numbers gone missing. You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. What happened on the day Zoe disappeared? Zoe and I were gonna watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. Tell me a little about Zoe. Zoe was always obsessed with this serial. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. Was she acting strange? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Hold on, there was something hey, else. Time. What are you selling? And that includes canid meat. Ooh. Armor nine. If we can sell something. Well, she's used to me taking stuff that's not mine, so I'm not worried about her. After all. Okay, go on quiet. I'm not gonna waste my my pig. Hey, Domo. this Zoe's place? Oh, it sure is. Well, today's the day, Zoe. Today's the day you take your destiny into your own hands. I've been listening to Grace talk about the marauder threat, bands of wild, free-spirited bandits living in camps out in the hills, warming themselves by the light of barrels, barrel fires. Probably mounted the heads of their enemies on spikes as a warning to folk like me, living a life of comfort and ease, free of any rules. I bet they could take a whole region if they were organized. I've been tucking away some of Adelaide's food and I've got spare cans of salt tuna. Ugh. Should last me a couple of weeks if I ration. Got some Madrina time too. Everybody loves Madrina time. Even Marauders, right? I got... I got... Odds those marauders will let me throw in with them if I dangle a couple of syringes of adrenaline time before their eyes. 
This is gonna be great. Look out, Terra 2. Bandit Queen Zoe's origin story has just begun. I'm gonna have a whole gang of marauders at my back and call. At my back and call. Maybe I can even score some risos. Oh, jeez, Lou. Ease, girl. Uh, until I stop. That's about as accurate as I can be, dude. Uh, yeah. Zoe's journal, page 12. So that's it then. No more edge water for me. No more cannery. No more jumpsuits and gloves. Yes, ma'ams. Would you like another? I don't know why I'm writing this down. Da -da 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 -da. Just because I got sick. Everybody gets sick. Well, okay. I got sick and grabbed a little bit too much adrenaline at time. Was it really a crime? I got to treat myself when I'm sick. Whatever happened to personal responsibility? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. At least another two and a half hours. At the very least. No, actually, that's probably pretty accurate. Two and a half hours because... All those computers are completely dead. Oh wow, there's more Adreno. Trip plate, armor parts, bit cartridge. Nope. I'm not gonna take it. They have not much as it is. There's not many people living here though. But we could take them out very easily. That's very nice of me. All right, Adelaide. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? <laughs> yeah, you must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. Hey, Matthew. But it's been clean. From Arizona, nice. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace then? Reed asks you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. This is serious. I'm about to cut off your power. For Reed, why? Hmm, your camp has a power regulator. I need to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Wow. I can see already 
there will be choices made here in the near future and I'm not liking it at all. What have you against the town? Seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of a uh, female. Gave out. Ain't got no apple. He raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Let's see her help you. What happens to Edgewater? Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down. Workers desert in droves. And our own little camp grows and thrives. You think Reed's just trying to spite you? You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Oh, jeez, Louise, what are we gonna do now? Anything else I can do for you? Oh, yeah. When we first talked, you'd assumed I'd come to live here. Old, you know. These two lamps of mine are not as bright as they once were. Hey, John. I have seen you for what you are. My dear, we are all visitors in a momentary universe. Our lives flicker in and out like the guttering of a flame. Here now, then gone. Me and mine are just carrying on as best we can, trying to live our lives in a way that does not feel wasted. Why are you telling me all? Oh, not a bad way to go about your life. If the colony felt the way you did, we'd have ourselves a proper revolution. I can't stop you from conducting your business down at the plant. I just want you to know that if you take our power away, you will have brought an end to our way of life. You could always continue your way of life back in town. Not under Reed's watch. He and I would come to blows within a day, and he would never tolerate my tending to a garden. This is my home. It will be my home even if Reed cuts our power. Simple as that. You and Reed obviously have some sort of history. Because Reed was my boss. I was the cannery's one and only flavor specialist, you see. Remember that limited run of white chocolate saltuna? That was all me. There's obviously more to it than that. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said wow. the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Sounds like the town turned its back on you. A fish rots from the head down. I do not blame the town. I blame the leader. I'm doing well, John. How are you? <sighs> okay, so. To sum it up. We either go back to the town, and I have to make that decision now quick, because I am about stage 2 sleep deprived, which is really bad. In a lot of ways. So, either... Either we're going back to town... And... Steal the power from there. 
geothermal master control panel, 214 meters. Or we're gonna go... Oh, for crying out loud. Divert the power from the geothermal plant. Or... You delivered Reed's message and it refused to. So either we divert the power from the geothermal. To the. So it's, it's two ways. Either the town goes or this little settlement goes. To be honest with you. Uh, hey, Grace. What is it? Well, uh, nothing. Useless. Um, freak, I don't know. But whatever we do, we need to do it fast now. So I gotta get down there and I gotta... I gotta get this party rolling. It's your 41st birthday today. Well, happy birthday, Simon. I would like to be that young again. No, actually I wouldn't. I'm happy with where I am. 180 meters. Please, no marauders on the way because we have no time, nor do I have the health to deal with this. Not a peep for me. All right, and be quiet. So, uh, not Zoe, Pravati. I'm not gonna sing for you, Simon, so sorry, but... <sighs> are we gonna divide the power away from the city, or are we gonna divide... Honestly, I... I think... Oh dear. A combat drone. That's what we need. Oh, uh, yeah, good. Oh, shoot! Great. And she's dead. Gosh, dang it! Frickin' A!
<laughs> Parati has left the party. Yeah, did she? <sighs> Man, that sucks. Why the heck did she go there? Like friggin' a... Well, I guess that's the end of that. That's the end of her. Oof, that thing is pretty brutal, though. Yeah, there's a combat drone. Man, that thing did not like me at all. Also, I'm getting pretty close to sle level 4 sleep deprived. That's awesome. Oh, it fell on a leather boa. That's kind of sad. Zoe. Gotta be kidding me. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I am very close to call this. Uh, 
I am very, very close to just giving up and switching to hard difficulty because I don't think I got what it takes to... Like, I don't think I got what it takes to make this happen. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go back to Buddy on the landing pad in a hurry. Maybe he has some advice because he doesn't like draw. Uh, he doesn't like. Self diagnostics initiated. Please do not disturb. You are useless. Honor, soldier. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out its headcase? Actually, don't tell me. I'd rather use my imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one. And the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer. A weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. Oh, here we go. Cantina, lavatory, behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. Sharp, ain't it? The lavatory is the very last place a mechanical has need to enter. On the double soldier. Don't want the bartender poking around in there with a mop. Go on. You ever seen the way a mechanical just stands there? Just looking at you, scanning you with its murderous oculars. Mechanicals have been programmed to eliminate the human race. They've been programmed to replace us. First, they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. All right, then. Crazy. Okay, back into Edgewater we go. Because we most certainly... We most certainly need to grab this weapon otherwise we ain't gonna be taking out anything yes saltina <sighs> welcome little travis then You're not it's not my usual stuff that i stream but yo And what is this secret weapon then? Return to Ludwig. Ay, 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 ay. Back and forth and back and forth. Titus Androidicus. Blood and Revenge. Well, there you go. Excellent. And the sleep deprivation is seeping in. Good heavens. Ow. All right, Ludwig, what do you got? Honor, soldier. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine spacer's choice injury customizing unit. 
designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the hand of the law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts with compliments from old Ludwig. There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. Ooh. Time for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. I've been after a passcode for years. Boss said no on account of my gross incompetence with all matters related to security. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. What are you planning? Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact, a real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are going to rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. How am I supposed to... Oh, Edgebot is in the middle of nowhere. You don't have a contact. Well, excuse me. What I meant was I'm going to get a contact. I didn't know I had to be all prissy about my grammar around you. How am I supposed to get one of these logic modules? If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're gonna have to find an intact model somehow. Pravati is a logic module? I don't reckon so. I work with gears and pistons and such. Stuff you can put hands to. Computers and mechanical brains are outside my ken. You know, she names the mechanical she fixes, calls them Bess and Clancy and so on. You keep a careful eye on her. Could be a sympathizer. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Lovely. Get out of my way. Oh, oh get. Dude, get out of my way. Alright. So. 137. 320. Ooh, that's a nice weapon, actually. <sighs> modify, modify, modify. Or maybe I should just... Reminds me a little bit of something from Star Wars, to be honest with you. With that being said...
<laughs> hey, that's against regulation. What oh, sorry. You know, you made a real generous argument. I know. Well, I could just shoot you in the head, but, uh, you know. All right, so I think we are now better equipped to take out those generous friggin' whatever they are. Now we just have to make it to 405 meters back to the base there. I'm going to come back for the side quest. But given the fact that sleep deprivation is getting really real, <laughs> we kind of have to hustle here. I wonder if I should have just... Oh, there's a logic module. <gasps> Shoot! Okay, keep them quiet. Yes, please. Nice and quiet. Over there is where all the marauders live. I love how they don't see us. This is always the funniest thing with, with these games. It's like... You crouch, you become invisible. Zoe, come back here. Gotta hurt. Zoe, get the... Sure. I'm going. Dude, this thing is nasty.
should have put it on a weapon with a little bit more punch, I think. Oh, we're still alive! Yay! Okay, we got one down. No, two actually. You need to stay right here. Sure thing. Can you hush? Unbelievable. I need you to stay right here and not move because you are just a liability honestly. How many more, though? Basos choice, always good. Oh dear, it is another one. Retreat, retreat, retreat. Move, 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 move. Beginning security control. Oh dear. So we come here. Frick yeah. Whew. 
Jeez, Luis. <sighs> Mother, father, son, and daughter. You know what? I don't even care anymore. We're going to go into this building here. And clean the place out. Ask me if I give a darn. Bring us honor, soldier. Hey, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit <sighs> designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the hand of the law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand volts in its guts with compliments from old Ludwig. There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite weapon and go forth into glorious battle. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. been after a passcode for years i need you to get us the brain of a mechanical well not exactly a brain anatomically speaking what we're looking for is a logic module if you die horribly i will pour out a can of zero g to your memory
400 DPS. Ooh, yeah. Now the question is... Oh no, I did not just give her my Where are we headed? <sighs> Some Something you need? need to go. Nothing to see here. <laughs> I 
we're gonna go and get us a logic module right after I'm back because sort of kind of need to get the puppy into bed.
Pravati, I'm almost tempted to just leave you here. <clears throat> Out of trouble. Hey, Steve. Oh, frick. Incoming. Well, I think we just lost. Rest in pieces, Pravati. I guess I don't have to worry about leaving you behind anymore. Gosh dang it. Where was that hunter? <laughs> Pravati has left the party. Really? Did she now? Well, I had the base game before, as I found out, but on Twi on Steam. But I just played it for like, I don't know, 10 hours or so. Oh boy. I wonder if I could get up here, maybe. And 
then across there. Hmm. <laughs> Might be an option. There's a drone somewhere. Security Patrol. Okay, so the drones are not a big problem anymore, that's good. Think we got them all. Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Hmm. 
All right, let's shut her down. Why not? Man alive, I tell you what. Mr. Braden and Familiar Company's displeasure toward your management of Animal Valley GS Thermal Plant. <laughs> Against profitability of the Great Emerald, where our officers agree with you, agricultural and fish and canning have experienced a steady decline, while Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant remains somewhat profitable. Our officers are currently investigating ways to implement additional cost serving measures. Do, 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 do. Uh, great. This, as a special courtesy, we have deployed a, propri a pro propriety team of engineering specialists to the Emerald Vale Geothermal Plant. This team of specialists has been instructed to refit, upgrade the plant's population of auto mechanicals free of charge. Isn't that wonderful? Perfect. Certainly need that. Up 
optional. Geothermal security chief's key card. Adreno. Retreat, 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 retreat. That's sleep deprivation, though. Please, Louise. Yeah, it couldn't have been that easy. See, I would go more into the quest. If it wasn't for the fact. That.
that sleep deprivation is really messing with me. And we kind of got to hurry it along, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would have probably gone back and talked to Adelaide again forever and ever and do all this stuff, but that's now out of the question. Isn't that wonderful? one more here somewhere. Oh, one more? Yeah, I wish.
Where is this idiotic chief? Up there somewhere. Oh, there he is. Ooh, light machine gun. Don't mind if I do. Thanks, dude. You don't need that anymore. Yeah, don't worry, Sprat. I'm not gonna shoot you. Yes, yeah, screw Ludwig at the moment. Sorry to say, but... Oh no. No. No, 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 no. Oh no, oh dear. I am so afraid to see where this is going to leave us off. No. No. Yes, you know what? We know that we can take him on. We are going quickly to the... We are quickly going to what's her name and delivering the message from Reed. I'm not going to worry about the other side quests, we're going to do that on the way back, because sleep deprivation and so on and so forth. But I do want to at least give her the chance to repent. I 
And we have that much time. Wow. Because to be honest with you, I want to, um, I want to divert the power from, uh, yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Oh, you. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Hey, Kevin. Already got ourselves one of those. I am doing well, thanks for asking. Yeah, that's us. And you can tell... How about yourself? ...doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Much obliged. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the... Excellent, excellent. Flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobaccorn tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. <laughs> On behalf of that cold-eyed reptile let's hear it what's reed's idea of peace then make amends spare me only thing reed knows how to make is a mess like everything else that comes out of edgewater that peace offering is canned i and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves He would do such a thing. The question is, why would you agree to his plans? Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Well, if it's all the same to you, then you ought to divert power over to us, shut down Reed's cannery, and scrap it for parts. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. It's not much of a living. Every single person in that town has sold themselves to spacer's choice. The company owns them, body, blood, and bones. You've been there. You've seen it. 
All anyone ever does is toil over a cannery. They give their lives for some heartless corporation, and then they're tossed into a Spacer's Choice brand cemetery. So, what do you say? Divert power over to us. Shut down that abominable cannery for good. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Yes, I will listen to my conscience and I have a lot more sympathy for her and her camp than I have for this dreaded Edgewater. Thus... Oh yeah, right, Zoe. Thought I told you to move along. Blah, blah, blah. Armed strangers wandering into my camp for one. Some of my camp wandering out for another. Got anything in you besides questions? No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Pale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Could do without the gallows humor. Oh, the sleep deprivation is real. But at least we have now the choice to divert it away from Edgewater. Because honestly, like I said, Edgewater is one of those places I have no problem shutting down. No problem whatsoever. Uh, yeah, good luck. Anything here for me to get? Oh yeah. Excellent. Hacking device. Wonderful. For one thing, I don't like Edgewater's way of dealing with of dealing with uh, or not not so much Edgewater's way, but um, I really don't like the way Wow Somebody really cleaned that place out. Oh, wow. Nice. You know this whole thing that they have going on with... Well, wow, you're not getting any medication. That just ain't how we do things in my world. So then, I guess it is time. Oh. Oh dear. I better go because we don't want to play around with the candidates here for now. Unless of course they are coming for us. In that case, that changes the dynamics a little bit. All right, back here. In we go.
All right, perks. Quick and the dead. That was easy. And then we're gonna go skills. Uh, ten. One, two. All right, here we go. You know, it would have been nice if we would have been able to save, uh, what's her name? But, unfortunately, that ain't happening. Good half hour. But I'm now ahead of it of the game. Redirect power. Master control terminal warning safety failures detected. Likelihood of moderate to severe structural damage. Redirecting power is irreversible. Error power redirection function has failed. Manual override required. Please activate all three electrical tracks, which is well frick. Yeah, and uh, like I said, what I'm gonna do now is, well for one thing we're gonna have a look-see here if we can find anything useful, bypass shunt, that's always nice. Um, oh, look at my sleep deprivation though, oh heavens. Um... I'm gonna divert the power away from Edgewater.
Oh, there's a spread. What do you think of the game, Monkey? I like the story, so far. Curious... Why... The company is so... said that no 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 just leave me alone Oh boy. There's a bunch of them. Four? Five? Hee <laughs> hee, nice. Jamie! What are you investigating, you moron? One more, and we have to be really friggin' careful.
there's three more somewhere. One more. Doing well, doing well. Thanks for asking. And you? Nice, nice, nice. Oh, wait a second. Haha, -ha. we have... Uh, okay, never mind. That's not gonna work. Thank you, Fluttershy. Muchly appreciated. What do you want from me with you? You're not real. You're not real. I am so real. You'll know that when I put a cap in your butt. Go away then. Go away, my... Huggins! There is somebody alive? Friggin' A! Oh, shut up. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. I... You can talk? <sighs> the Phantom's never talked before. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have eaten that Sprat raw. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your Sprats before ingesting. Clearly, I mistook you for one of the phantoms of my imagination, which terrorized me on occasion. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aether Wave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Braised. Boiled. Charred. Skewered. Sprats are good eating, friend. Chock full of brain food. Mechanicals lost their bolts. Open fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. I was on cleaning duty at the time. My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries. Repaired them, maintained, upgraded. Did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. I could just end you right here. Poo! Done.
here. How the heck? Well, we have to come back to you, I guess. How are you doing, Fluttershy? Hope all is well. You know, I would really like to get my ship into the air, or at least not even into the air. I just want it to have power so it unlocks, so I can sleep, so I can save. Oh my gosh, I thought you subscribed. I'm so sorry. I didn't even realize you gifted us a sub. I, um, I, yeah, I apologize for my, yeah, sorry. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We have about. I don't know, 15 minutes or so left before this whole sleep deprivation thing is gonna kill us. There is three in here. Oh, don't. No, you mother... Oh, you gotta be... <sighs> no. I'm about two seconds from abandoning the idea of... I am so incredibly annoyed right now.
stupid freaking thing. I'm honestly, I'm tempted to just go and abandon hardcore. Here's the annoying part. This was a flippin' This was a drone, just like the other one. And I ended up... Um... Where's this dumb switch? Geothermal chief nonsense. Not bad, I guess.
Chester's passcode. Yeah, good luck. All right, we got that. We got that. Oh wow, there's a lot of sentries. A lot of sentries. The drone. Would be nice if we could just shut it all down. Go away, Phantom. Go away, Phantom. Yeah, but Fluttershy again. I'm sorry that I completely missed that you gifted a sub there. That was, yeah, not my, <laughs> not my best day. Sprat raw. See, see, Higgins, this is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Clearly, I mistook you for one of the phantoms of my imagination, which terrorized me on occasion. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Right. Hmm, hard to say. By my reckoning, Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Oh, before, definitely before, Sisty Pig Tycoonery was the apex of my long and storied career. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons. You just shoot them.
alive, man alive. Not sure how this is all gonna end. Oh. Not good! That I know. It will not end well. Unless... We find some... I think if I die one more time, I'm just gonna call it. Well, I have to call it here right away anyway, but what I mean is I'm just gonna call it on the try to play it, to play through on, uh, That thing is terrible. Yeah, unfortunately, my engineering skills are not that good. Well, monkey, why don't you try it on the hardest level? If it's so easy. Interesting here. Something tells me I ain't going through here. Got that much money. Seven. What's my current armor at?
Hey, Turtles, how's it going? Armor 4. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. We're definitely gonna do that. Armor 7. I have no idea how much good that does, but you know. good news is, even though the stupid thing is... Yeah, the sleep deprivation is real, holy cow. Um, uh, shoot. Oh man, I didn't even know. One more. Oh, there's a lot of them. This is the one that took me out last time. I think there's another one here somewhere. Let's see how this thing works. Got him. All of them. Holy cow. The last one. <sighs> okay. We made it. So this is the last, the last moment where I can decide what's going down. It's either Edgewater or the little settlement. I, for one, think the little settlement has more prosperity. Redirect to Botanical Laboratory.
All right. Yeah, Spacer's Choice doesn't like me as much anymore. That's okay. Whew. No, it's a it's a salty. Uh, no, sorry, a sprat. Is what it is. Okay, we need to go to um Yeah, we're coming back to the geothermal plant because there's more there's way more stuff that we need to do yet, but For right now, we are leaving because we do need oh, man, I can't believe it's over. <laughs> this 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 is just a small part of this whole Oh dear. Oh dear. There's a bunch of marauders that I don't want to deal with at the moment. So we're just gonna sneak right in between them. Hey, Super Terrier. Um, so yeah, the, what's what's happening next is before the end of the stream, I hope. Um, so within the next 15 minutes, we are going to rip the guts out of the factory and upgrade um, and upgrade our um, now we're gonna upgrade the uh, the ship once the ship has power again not only can we fly away if we want to but I wanna I wanna take care of some other quests first um, but yeah, not only can we do that, we also will be able to uh, enemies where? Three enemies. Hmm. I think Reed Thompson might not be very happy with us. <laughs> yeah, they're all just hanging out here. suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? That power regulator is company property. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. Apologies won't give us our lives back, but for what it's worth, I am sorry too. Edgewater's dead. Our cannery's dead. 
Adelaide's deserters are never coming back. Space's choice will shut us down before long. Some of us will die of illness by then. Some will move on. Some will starve. And as for me, I will tender my resignation, whereupon I shall be processed and then duly imprisoned for gross incompetence. Okay, well, I guess. There's a couple of corporate guards. I really don't want to kill them, but I will if I have to. And I guess I have to. I'm so sorry about this. <laughs> Mother, father, son, and daughter. Oh, it's you. Reed told me I should be expecting you. He's inside. As a Spacer's Choice Constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals, even during times of unplanned crisis or unauthorized general chaos. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. As long as your questions fall within the acceptable margins of curiosity. His likeness decorates many a wanted poster. Do you have any relevant information about this individual? Well. Hey, fellas. You picked a fine time to visit, stranger. Paid his burial fees, didn't I? Let the dead sleep. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to go rifling through other people's correspondence? Nope. Excuse you. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein already belong to Spacer's Choice. And we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Never mind. I don't have to explain myself to you. Well, excuse me while I'm finishing this quest so I can get my friggin' ship up and running. He's mad at me. You want to know what gets my bile churning? Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. Mm -hmm. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? Is that right? I'm dying to hear this. Please, educate me. Adelaide had the right idea. wants nothing more than to see this town suffer to see me that's not suffer. true all you've done is satisfied her hatred whatever you were hoping to find down here i advise you to turn around and leave i have got guards posted with orders to fire on you apologies won't give us our lives back 
But for what it's worth, I am sorry too. All right. Well, we're gonna do quickly our skill. Uh, we're gonna do two on dialogue, two on ranged, one on defense, one leadership, two on tech, one stealth, one on guns, and back, apply, accept. And thank you. I am so sorry I have to do this because I have no problem with those people. I really don't, but what do you do? Oh, dear. That is a nasty weapon. <laughs> oh, dear. I really did not want this to go down like this. But I mean, seriously, what can you do? Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we are returning to the unreliable. I have the feeling that they don't like me here anymore. Mm, something's not right. Oh boy. I'm going. I'm not going. You know what? I put my whole life in that cannery. You must be very proud. Okay, well, I tried. That was maybe a dumb idea. I mean, they don't like me anymore anyway, so whatever. What are we supposed to do now? Exercise patience. know what gets my bile churning edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters plague waters desertion then you wandered in town and i was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn i never knew how right i was just answer one question for me why'd you do it is that right i'm dying to hear this please educate me Edgewater is my home. The only home I've ever had. I put down roots here. Gave decades yeah. of my life. By the way, the game is still for free on Epic for another two days. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. 
Don't like me much anymore. shot. They 100% don't like me anymore. Oh, what do you do? Can't make everybody happy. I mean, it was either the corporation goes down or those rebels that live just off the land in freedom and so on and so forth. So that decision is relatively easy for me. I'm sorry. That's how it had to be.
boy, there's a lot of enemies now. They really don't like me anymore. Oh, don't mind me. <laughs> la la la. Doop de doop de doo. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we achieved in three hours what I said. Oh, what I set out to do. Okay, just the hostile. Oh, there's a lot of hostiles. Oh dear me. I just don't know who they are. Oh well. <sighs> now to get our ship going. my good board computer. I have detected that the what can I do for you, Captain? Well, I have the power regulator. How to install a power regulator? Step one, pick up your power regulator. Step two, approach the terminal located in our engine room. Step three, insert power regulator. Step four, celebrate. Our engine room is located behind you, across the cargo bay, up the ladders. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. I think our engine is working again. Well, thank heavens I need some sleep. In real life as well as in game. Alright Ada, let's talk. I've installed the power regulator. With unacceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Not quite yet. First, I'm gonna hunt down. Water sealed, are you kidding me? I need sleep. All the doors are sealed, what? Sealed, 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 okay, well I guess this is the end of that. 
let's bring her into low orbit then. Before I die of sleep deprivation. Welcome back, Captain. Thanks. All systems are now operating with an acceptable parameters. Shall I take our ship into orbit? Yes. Oh boy. Oh dear. We have received a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Ah, there you are. Hail and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kalkelly. In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia. And, in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, <laughs> Dr. Gladys Kelly. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. Four more minutes. I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The Shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic Shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. <laughs> the beauty is they don't expect it. The Shroud is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency to overlook the unexpected. Activate the disguise, walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like a fellow employee. Don't act odd. They won't focus on you. 
only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. <laughs> A change of clothes. What is this? Some old spy serial? What inattentive and brainless guard would be fooled by such a shabby disguise? The holographic shroud masks not only your clothes, but your face and fingerprints. It modulates your voice and sweetens your breath. Science, that's how. <laughs> Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. I'm not ready to depart. I need sleep. Jeez Louise, that robot. Oh, thank heavens, it's unlocked. A holographic shroud. Messages. I have to read that later. Oh, finally, sweet sleep. All right. You can only rest in your bed on the ship. Yeah, I, I know. Thank you. You know we should have we should have gone back to Oh hi there. There's a SAM unit in my ship. This is not a petunia. Hmm. How wonderful. Whew. 
cruise quarters everywhere and we have no crew. See a problem with that? Actually, no. We're gonna put some food in here. Well, ladies and gentlemen, everything that I wanted to achieve has been achieved for tonight. Um, yeah, I don't know. You let me know if you want me to continue or if we should take a break. I honestly, I would love to continue. Welcome back, Captain. Yeah, How thanks. Can I be of assistance? The unit is a cleaning, Sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. What part of the colony would you like to discuss? How can I be of assistance? You can't. Take care. I require a functioning captain to run the ship. Oh my.
Tricker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Oh, we can go to Edgewater Landing Path. Well, there you go. We are now in orbit above Edgewater, Captain. Good. And that's where we will stay for the, for now. Good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. God bless.